Hey everyone, it's me back again for Weird Beer Volume 24, and this is probably going to be a weird episode because I'm actually kind of in the middle of something here that's non-beer related. There's uh, some cardinals around here, little red birds, uh, the male cardinals. Maybe you can hear that in the background. It's up on this tree over here, and I've kind of been doing my best to try to... Uh, respond to it even though I have oh there's a bird right over my head actually a lot of birds out right now so I'm a little distracted oh where's the cardinal going Come on I gotta try to call it again just a lot of birds out right now I'm kind of distracted Well, besides drinking beer, when you have not too much else to do because you're recovering from an injury, which I might add, I'm not fully recovered, but going back to work tomorrow. So that should be interesting because even though it feels like it's getting better, it's still very painful if I start doing stuff like that, like grasping on the things. <laughs> anyway, yeah, a lot of uh, distractions out here, a lot of birds, but it's kind of nice out, partly cloudy. Uh, let's see the flowers, they're uh, still in bloom. Let's see how you flip this thing around, actually. I don't know if I can, well, let me see if I can get some random flowers. They're wild flowers. I planted some of these. Part of my plan, you can see on the side of this um, walkway here. Um, now, there would always be like random weeds and grass growing, and I would always try to pick it out of there and keep it nice. But then I got tired of doing that, so I'm like, well, why don't I start uh, trying to plant intentional things to grow there since you can't stop it? So at least it's like a pathway of flowers. It's working a little bit. Anyway, I guess that's enough jabbering on about non-relative, non-beer topics. I'm just bored, I guess. I only got a couple beers. Get like two beers. So I'm going to get to it. Uh, this one's called Glutenberg IPA. And it's kind of weird. I'll give you a better look at that in a second. 6% alcohol. It has, they use millet, buckwheat, and corn beer. <laughs> so it's definitely weird. It's a gluten-free craft brewery, and they are out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Brewed and canned by a micro brasserie Glutenberg. I'm guessing that's how you say brewery in uh, Quebecois, which I don't know how to speak. Uh, water, millet, buckwheat, corn, sugars, hops, and yeast are the ingredients. Wow. Look at this. Hold on. 320 calories per serving. That's one can. It's surprising. That's a lot of calories for a beer. It's kind of plain looking. Gluten, Glutenberg. It's gluten free. Let's see, I just have, okay, I'm improving a little. I can kind of hold the can. Uh, I don't think I can hold the glass. I'll try though. This might be okay. That's a little tender. Part of my recovery is holding the glass and not spilling this beer in myself. Try to pour this at a better angle than the last couple videos where it just foamed over and looked like amateur hour. I mean, 
it's still amateur hour. I'm still an amateur. I'm out here in my sweatshirt and my pajamas. <laughs> Not getting dressed if I don't have to go to work. Look, my hair is all messed up. I need to shave. I need to cut my fingernails. I'm not definitely not in my A game here, but at least I got some beer a little bit to try with you, my loyal viewership, <laughs> whoever you are. Try this gluten-free beer. It's corn. Corn beer. Okay. I can smell a little bit of corn, I guess. Kind of corny. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so it's definitely an IPA. I can taste the hoppiness, but it's not too strong. Not too hoppy. Just enough to, to let you know it's an IPA, India Pale Ale. It does kind of have like a subtle corn flavor to it. How do you describe that? I mean, if anybody's eaten sweet corn, I'm sure you have. It's like subtle corn notes. <laughs> I don't know about millet. I don't know enough about that to even tell if I can taste it. Okay, it's like crisp, fresh, it's like fresh feel, slightly invigorating, <laughs> I mean, this, what does that mean? <laughs> Have you ever been invigorated by a sip of beer? It's weird because it's got corn and what else? Uh, buckwheat. Wait a minute. How's? Wait a minute. It says it's gluten free, but it's got buckwheat. Isn't buckwheat type of gluten? I guess I don't know too much about gluten, but it was my maybe misunderstanding. Anything that has wheat in it would have gluten. So this has buckwheat. Buckwheat's not gluten. If anybody knows about that, feel free to educate us. Is buckwheat... I mean, they say it's gluten-free, so it must be. Otherwise, it'd be false advertising. Not that that doesn't go on or ever happen, because I've definitely seen false advertising before, but... Anyway, Glutenberg IPA out of Montreal, Canada. A. Eh? <laughs> okay, that was maybe that's not funny, but I guess that's a stere stereotypical American thing. Everybody thinks, but uh, people in Canada say a eh, a lot. And I've actually been to Canada, and I didn't find out to be the case. But anyway. Oh, there's a lot of bumblebees. <laughs> I'm so distracted. Hold on, you gotta see this. Remember the chai flowers? Oh, where'd they go? Come back. I don't know how to flip the camera tray. Does this flip it? No, that takes a picture. I was gonna try to get you a view of the bumblebee. <laughs> I'll show you the flower anyway. Close up of the flower. It's again. Those are chives. Oh, there's an explosion in the background. Yeah, chives. Chives. Well, anyway, I think that's enough of this video. Seeing how I said very little about beer and a lot about just being distracted a lot by nature, which isn't the worst thing to do, I guess. That could be my 
I need a haircut. I need a shave. This will be forever known as like one of my grungier weird beer videos. I'll get a haircut and shave and get back on my A game eventually. So this is kind of a rare look at me. Um, just looking really unkept and terrible. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, there may be another weird beer video in a little while. I got one other beer that's pretty weird and I won't give it away it's but it is it's supposed to be another one of those sour beers anyway yeah 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 see you guys later until next time cheers ah thanks I needed that <laughs>